a teacher, she has extensively worked on improving communication and public speaking skills in children of all ages. With that, please welcome our judge, Ma'am Munira, to today's competition. Thank you for that kind introduction. Hello, children. Um, my name is Munira, and I'm going to be a judge for today's challenge. I'm so excited to be here. It's the finals. All of you have worked really hard, and I'm sure you all are very well prepared for today. I just want to tell you, be confident. And I'm sure this competition will be a lot of fun. Best of luck. Thank you so much, ma'am. And I totally agree with you. So now you know me, you know our judges. It's time that we get to know all of you. So we'll begin with a quick introduction. Make sure you tell your name, your class, your city, and any of your favorite hobby. So with that, we begin with our first participant, participant number one, Michelle. Hi everyone, I am Michelle Marie Matthew of grade 7 and I am studying in Don Bosco School of Excellence, Edmore, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. And my, I have so many favorite hobbies. What, uh, some of them are drawing and swimming and etc. That's great, Michelle. And welcome to the competition. So our second participant is participant number two, Tanisi. Good afternoon. Uh, I am Tanishi uh, from grade seven. I study National Public School, Whitefield, Bangalore. And my favorite, uh, favorite hobby is to dance. That's a lovely hobby. Even I love dancing. It makes me feel so happy. And welcome to the competition, Tanishi. Thank you. Did you pronounce your name correctly, by the way? Yeah. Okay, great. So now we move on to the third participant. That is Twissa. Good evening. Uh, my name is Tisha Das. Uh, I read in uh, Vivekananda Mission School, Kolkata, and I'm from seventh grade. And my favorite hobby is uh, nature photography. That's a lovely hobby. And can you pronounce your name correct? Uh, can you pronounce your name again? Uh, it's Tisha. It's Tisha. Okay, so W is silent, basically. Yeah. I'm so sorry for mispronouncing. Yeah, okay. So now we move on to our next participant for the day, participant number four, Ashmita. Hi everyone, I'm Ashmita and I'm in class seventh and in the President National School Dwarka and my hobby is reading. Wow, that's a great hobby, Ashmita and welcome Thank to the competition. You. And now we move on to our next participant, participant number five, Aditi. Yes, ma'am. Hello everyone, my name is Aditi and I'm in class seven. I, I'm from Bangalore and I study in Chrysalis High School. Uh, my hobbies are arts and crafts and reading. Welcome to the competition, Aditi. And the th okay, now the sixth participant is Sahishna. Sahishna, I'm so yes, sorry. Hello all, my name is Sahishna. I'm studying in Bharti Vidya Bhavan School, Hyderabad, class seven. And my favorite hobby is cooking and reading books. Okay, I see cooking. Even I love cooking, but I love eating more. That's different. <laughs> okay, so now we have our next participant, participant number seven, Mahi. Hello, everyone. My name is Mahi Tripathi. I study in class seven, Lotus Valley International School, Noida, and I love writing. I love writing poems, speeches. It's a hobby. That's very creative, and welcome to the competition. So now we have our next participant for the day, participant number eight, Mitra. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mitra. I study in eighth grade in Madurai, Tamil Nadu. And my favorite hobby is writing in calligraphy. Okay, that's quite unique. And welcome to the competition. Thank you, ma'am. So next up, we have participant number nine, Anaisa. It's Anaisha. I'm so sorry, Anaisha. It's fine. Uh, many people make that mistake. So, hi, I'm Anaisha, and I I am in class seven, the Heritage School, Vasant Kunj. And my favorite hobby has to be I have actually have a lot, but my most favorite would have to be, I guess, writing poems and playing football and basketball. Okay, Anaisha, that's great, and welcome to the competition. So now we move on to our 10th participant for the day, Isha. 
Good evening, everyone. My name is Isha Dinesh from class 7. I study in Presidency School, Bangalore North. My hobbies are to bake and dance. Welcome to the competition, Isha. And now we have our next participant for the day, participant number 11, Ritvika. Uh, yes. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Ritvika and I'm from class 7, Presidency School, Artinaga, Bangalore. And there are many of my hobbies, but the two most lovely one of them are painting and uh, writing. Okay, that's great. And the last participant for the day is participant number 12, Sana. Hi everyone, I am Sana Sachin and I'm studying in class 8 in Daji Public School in Ternagalam. And actually I have a lot of hobbies. But my most favorite ones are um, writing and reading. I love writing poems and novels. Thank you. That's great. So I see all of you are quite multi-talented. That's lovely. And um, sorry to interrupt, ma'am, but I am the 13th participant. I'm so sorry. Uh, just one second. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yes, ma'am. So I'm Arkamita Pal. I study in Baldwin Girls High School, Bangalore in the eighth grade. And ever since I started my own blog, it has become my favorite hobby, blogging. Okay, so you vlog. We would blog, uh, ma'am, blog, like websites. Yeah, yeah, I got that. That's great. And I think it's very unique as well. Okay, so I welcome all of you in today's challenge. Now, without any further ado, we'll quickly begin with the challenge. All of you, give me a thumbs up when you can see my screen. So again, I welcome you all in today's challenge that is none other than the public speaking finals. The theme for today's challenge is five star reviews and it is being held for grade seven and eight. So first up, we have the all round the cup agreement that we all promised to follow. And I'm sure all of you are well aware of it. First is be respectful. You can be respectful by ensuring that your cameras are turned on throughout the challenge and you are on mute so that you do not disturb any other participant. Second, never cheat. Please make sure that you're sitting at a quiet place. There is no background noise and, you know, there is no prompting around you so that you can focus and yeah. The third point is wait for your turn. Make sure that you're on mute in case you have any doubt, any query, just raise your hand or say, you know, do thumbs up or anything like that. Uh, and please unmute yourself only when I call out your name. Last and the most important one, celebrate each other. This is a challenge where we all learn, where we all support each other. And it's always most important to learn. So make sure that you celebrate each other's victory and we'll have lots of fun together. So with that, we move on to the challenge specific rules. Oh, great. So you will be having two minutes, 30 seconds to narrate your speech. Second, you will receive a buzzer warning 10 seconds before your time is up. And this would be a buzzer warning. I'll play that again. Great. Once your time is up, a double buzzer will be played after which you may choose to continue for the next 10 seconds to conclude. However, five points will be awarded if you finish within time, and this would be your double buzzer. Okay, so if you finish within time, you will be getting extra five points, but in case you want to continue your speech, you can take extra 10 seconds for that. The last one, please stand up for your speech or else points for body language will be affected. I think you all know that if you stand, uh, there is, you know, that's the proper body language to narrate anything. And that's the end of the rules. Are you all clear with the rules? Give me a thumbs up if you are. That's great. Smart kids we are. So we'll quickly share the theme. So the theme for today's challenge is five star reviews. If you have to review something, a cartoon show, a toy, a food item, a book, a movie, or even an app, what will you review? What rating would you give it and why? This November, as we celebrate Children's Day at All Round the Cup, we are eager to hear your five-star reviews of things you love and the features that make you love them. So without any start with the challenge. So our first participant for the day is Michelle. Hi. 
Hi. Uh, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling excited at the same time nervous. So yeah. Deep breath. And just let me know when you're ready. Also, is that a filter, black and white filter or something? No, there's no filter. I have not applied. It looks pretty retro. It looks very nice. <laughs> okay, so are you ready? Yes, uh, just give me one sec. Um... Yes, um, actually, uh, it is informed that there is uh, for introduction after introduction, you will start uh, start the timer, right? So can I give you a quick thumbs up when I finish my? Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem. Yes. Hi everyone, I am Michelle Mary Matthew of grade seven. And today I'm going to review a TV series called Just Add Magic, which is based on friendship and the art of cooking. Yes. Just Add Magic is set in the fictional town of Saffron Falls, California and centers around three friends, Kelly, Darby and Hannah. They accidentally come across a mysterious cookbook while trying to bake a cake for Kelly's grandmother. This mysterious cookbook mentions many unknown ingredients like uh, Sadorian Vandler, Gallifreyan pepper, and Mervalgian cocoa nibs. This series shows how the three girls procure this magical, these magical ingredients to bake the, uh, the birthday cake and the other recipes in the book. But the secret uh, secret recipes always come with a catch. Unexpected events take place when the food prepared from the mysterious ingredients is consumed. For instance, when Kelly's brother and Hannah eat a slice of the birthday cake named Shut Them Up Chart Cake, they soon find themselves unable to talk. And when the recipe brain boosting bolognese is prepared and consumed the girls learn that they can easily pass exams without studying the acting and the background music makes you feel as if you were there with uh, three girls in the kitchen preparing and tasting the magical recipes i love to bake because of this lovely show and because of this show me and my younger sister love to cook simple dishes in the kitchen inspired by this enchanting show of course the magic doesn't happen but spending time with my rambunctious sister and with my parents helping out in the kitchen and the day becomes very magical the three girls hannah and darby have done an incredible job in the tv series their real names are Olivia, Urbe, and Abby. They have brought the three main characters to life with their charm and enchanting presence. This series is a wholesome family show and focuses on the friendship of the girls and the way they strive to do good with the power they have. This is a live action television series produced by Amazon Studios and is available to all viewers on Amazon Prime Video. It is filled to the brim with adventure and magic. If you love magic and fantasy, this is the right series for you. I wholeheartedly recommend it to fire up your imaginative and creative senses while enjoying the goodness of a rare TV show like this. Thank you. Well, within time, Michelle, and that was a great performance. I loved how you used pictures uh, during your narration, and it was great. It was amazing. So now we can sit back and we move on to our next participant, that is participant number two, Tani C. Hi. Um, okay, how are you feeling? I'm feeling excited and nervous. But I think you'll do a great job. Just take a deep breath and give me a thumbs up once you're ready. Okay. okay. Jayate was once right read by Bill Burn Batch that the most powerful element in a review is the truth. I am here to speak only the truth. A very good evening to respected judge, moderator ma'am, and my dear friends. When I came across the 
topic for the month of November in public speaking, I found out that the topic was very exciting. When I started pondering into my memory lanes, the first thing which came to my mind was the Melia Allrounder Oh yes, the Melia Allrounder Cup. I'm not here to please or flatter anybody, but would definitely like to review about this live educational game show platform. This is India's topmost e-competition platform, which takes place every month. It is a very innovative platform that helps school students from grade one to eight across the country to know and compete with each other. During this pandemic situation, where stepping out of the house is a huge risk, what more can you ask for? Are you a math genius? Are you someone who loves imagination? Are you someone who loves creativity? Are you someone who dreams big? Then, oh yes, definitely you are in the right platform. You get all opportunities and exposure here. The best part is that you can sit at home and participate in this competition for just a nominal price of rupees 99 only. I would like to conclude by adding that if you're a winner, you get to win cash price of rupees 500 to 10,000. But if you're a loser, you're not a loser here. The judges here share their experience and give you a lot of tips, which always helps you to boost your confidence and soft skills. Definitely, I would like to watch for this Melia All Round the Cup challenge and give a five star rating for it. All the students can celebrate the joy of learning here. If you want to enhance your personality and approach towards your dream, then this is the right place you have to be in. Thank you. Great performance, Tanisi. And first of all, thank you so much for all the appreciation, for all the good words you said. That means a lot for me as well as for the team. And thank you so much for that. And I loved your performance. I loved your body language. And it was great. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. So now we move on to our third participant for the day, Tisa. Okay. Yes, Mom. Okay. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling excited. That you're very excited and you made me excited as well <laughs> okay so go ahead with the introduction and give me a thumbs up once you start yeah so i'm starting now yeah okay good evening dear judges moderator and my fellow participants today i tisha das am going to review a television series named courage the cowardly dog when we hear the word coward we feel like the character is going to be a whim however the character I'm going to introduce to you today will instantly melt your heart with its cuteness and opposite nature. Courage the Cowardly Dog is an American animated series created by John R. Dilworth. Courage the Cowardly Dog is about a tiny dog overcoming his fears just to save his loved ones. The title is ironical because the dog has been named Courage, although described as a timid one. Starting in 1996, this animated series caught every child's interest till its end in 2002. Abandoned as a pup, Courage was found by Mariel Bam, who lives in the middle of a city called Nowhere with her husband Eustace Bam. This might be just an animation, but the life lessons it brought up through its episodes are clearly marked in my mind. I remember the episode Food of the Dragon where a flightless dragon shows up at their farmhouse wanting to eat them. Courage helps him find out why he is so bad at flying and does not like the taste of humans. Turns out, he's a sea dragon who eats fish and enjoys swimming, not a flying dragon. This particular episode describes how individuality gets lost while chasing after the false standards created by our society. Courage's love for his family is so intense that he is willing to face the scariest creatures, do the toughest jobs just to keep them safe in the life. His kindness towards the ones who wanted to harm him is what makes this character way too perfect. The animated series sometimes may seem fictional, but the theme is not too far from reality. The way in which the messages are conveyed is simple yet superficial. This TV series is a perfect everyday engagement for preteens. 
The only flaw that I could find was about the animation quality, which often seemed a little old fashioned. When it comes to rating, I would rate it five stars out of five. To know more about this impeccable little dog, one must complete the whole series. Thank you. That was a lovely performance. And I see the uh, other participants giving you a round of applause. Uh, that's great. Thank you so much, everyone. And that was lovely. I think I'm going to watch that series very soon now. Thank you. It's on my watch list now. Okay. Thank you so much, Tisa. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Now we move on to the next participant, participant number four, Ashmita. Hi, Ashmita. Hi, everyone. Hi, moderator and my judges and all the participants. So, um, I'm Ashmita and today I'm going to review on my favorite film, Frozen 2. Okay, so can I start? Yeah, I'll start. Frozen 2 is an animated, musical, comedy, drama and fantasy film produced at Walt Disney Animation Studios. Frozen 2 follows Elsa, Anna, Olaf, Christopher and Sven as a journey to an enchanted forest to save their kingdom from a curse involving the elemental spirits of water, wind, fire, and earth. Suddenly, in the middle of night, Elsa wakes up when she hears a mysterious voice calling to her again. Unable to ignore it this time, Elsa tries to follow the voice. Unintentionally, Elsa wakes up the spirits, pushing everyone in the kingdom to evacuate, as many of her inner resources are stripped. From the kingdom, Elsa, Anna, Olaf, Christoph, and Sven embark to the journey of the enchanted forest. The group encounters the impenetrable wall of mist, but it parts open as Elsa uses a magic. Then the group encounters the uh, the North Hydra troop along with the Arendelle soldiers. They come to know about their mother Iduana. She was a mysterious North Aldra who saved King Anger's life in the war between North Aldra and King Renard and his soldiers. In the way to find the fifth spirit, they found all the four spirits and then discovers that Elsa herself was the fifth spirit, which was calling her. And it was a happy ending. So, I absolutely love this movie. There were a lot of emotions, a lot of songs, and a lot of love between the sisters. And this is a must-watch movie. So for the rating, I would give it a five-star review. Thank you. You were well within time, Ashmita. And that was a great performance. Can you be all give a round of applause for her? Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. And now we move on to the fifth participant. That is Aditi. Yes. Hi, Aditi. Hi, ma'am. How are you feeling? I feel really excited. Okay. So, give, please, uh, do you want to give an introduction? Yes, ma'am. I will give a thumbs up when I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hello, everyone. A warm welcome to everyone present here. My name is Aditi and I'm in class 7. I'm from Bangalore and study in Prasalas High School. Today, in this five-star review topic, I'm going to talk about an amazing app called as Pastimes. Okay, cool, start. Whenever we download too many apps in our phone, there's no more storage left. This mostly happens with games, but never fear. Pastimes is here. Pastimes is an app that has 14 games all in one. These are classic games. Isn't that amazing? Even if you don't know how to play the game, don't worry. There are easy instructions that are given in the app. This app is a great way to spend idle time if you are bored. There is Hangman in which they give you a hint and you need to find the word dot grids where you need to make the most number of squares. Snake ladder, which we all know. Climb up the ladder and avoid the snakes. The first one to get to the top is the winner. Word search, where they will list a few words and you need to find them. Dice game, 
match up where you need to match the images, snake, where you need to make it eat an apple. Minesweeper are very famous games with mines and bombs that you should indeed know. Math edition matchup, connect four, SOS, which is just like tic-tac-toe. Sudoku, solitaire, which is a card game, and tic-tac-toe. Wow, board games in an app? That is so cool. I have never found games like Snake and Ladder and Connect 4 in an app before. This game comes in eight languages. English, Italian, French, Portuguese, German, Indonesian, Russian, and Spanish. It's for all ages has a setting for sound and has an option to remove ads. This is an amazing app that requires no internet at all. If you are going on a road trip or a plane trip and have no entertainment, then just download the Pastimes app and play all day. Pastimes has games the train, challenge and exercise your brain. I give this app a five star rating because it doesn't need internet and has so many games. Thank you. That was a lovely performance, Aditi. Can we all give a round of applause for her? I loved how you used your hand for enacting everything out. That was great. Okay, so now we have our next participant for today. Participant number six, Sahishna. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, am I audible? Yeah, you're audible. Oh, wow. Yummy. So tasty. Can you guess what this is? This is the world famous Hyderabadi biryani. Biryani is made up of various spices, which adds it to its original taste and makes it much more delicious. While making biryani, we use various spices like cardamom, clove, cinnamon, maize, bay leaf, and etc. Vegetables like carrot, potato, green peas, capsicum, onion, and etc with addition of meat in certain varieties too. Huh. What is the history of biryani? Many historians believe that biryani was invented by the Persians and brought to India by the Mughals. The Mughal soldiers looked so undernourished and that was when the chef mixed rice and meat in the very same dish with some spices and that was when the biryani was invented. Now friends, let me tell you the speciality of a few ingredients which are used while making biryani. Clove and cardamom help us to fight against cancer. Cinnamon has anti-inflammatory properties. Bay leaf, which is rich in potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Ghee, which helps us to boost our memory power and strengthens our immunity. Rice, which helps us to maintain a perfect weight and a healthy lifestyle. Last but not the least, vegetables, which are the main source of nutrition and which are rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, and dietary fibers. Conclusion, biryani is a delight to eat and a challenge for the chefs to prepare. Biryani is special to my sense organs, like when I see biryani, my eyes shine. When I smell biryani, it impresses my smell power. When I taste biryani, it activates my taste buds. When I hear the sound of eating biryani, I feel like dancing in the sky. All this makes my skin really warm. This special is biryani to me. It is really tasty. I recommend you all to try it once and you will 100% fall in love with me. This is why I rate it 5 star. Thank you. Yes, hey, Sahishna. Well, actually, I lost my internet connectivity, but the timer was on and you were well within time. I am so hungry after listening to your narration. Now, I want biryani today in my dinner. <laughs> that was great. That was a great performance and definitely a unique thing to give a review on. So now you can sit back and we move on to the next participant. Participant number seven, Mahi. Hi, Mahi. Oh. How are you feeling? I'm a bit nervous, but it's all good. Take it, just take a deep breath and give me a thumbs up once you're ready. Okay, cool. Start. How many of us like to spend hours binge watching our favorite TV show on weekends? 
mostly all of us. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mahi Tripathi, and today I'm going to talk about my all-time favorite TV show, Stranger Things. So, for starters, what exactly is this show? Well, in many ways. It's like some Stephen King novels, particularly The Firestarter, the 1980s, and The Gravity Falls, all mashed up into one really strange but fascinating show. In a small town where everyone knows everyone, a peculiar incident starts a chain of events that leads to the disappearance of a child, which begins to tear at the fabric of an otherwise peaceful community. Dark government agencies and seemingly malevolent supernatural forces converge on the town, while a few locals begin to understand that there is more going on than meets the eye. The writing is terrific and the direction really keeps you on the edge of your seats. The acting is also realistic and pretty much convincing. The suspenseful mystery section, the inventive and intriguing science fictions, and the dark and disturbing horror elements are beautifully balanced along with an emotional core and nostalgic homage. Throughout Stranger Things, we are urged to consider the power of imagination. Creative imagination can be accessed in moments of slow or idle time and help us look at problems from different perspectives. I do admit that season two is not as good as the first one. Somehow the writing didn't always feel as tight, focused around it as compared to the former season. And some of it was a bit forced and obvious. But overall, the package is well worth watching and will face you completely. I would easily rate the show an A+. What about you? Check out this peculiar yet interesting show to find out. Thank you. I'm on mute, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that was a great performance, Mahi. You were so confident and your narration was flawless. That was amazing. Can we all give a round of applause for her? Okay, so now we move on to the next participant, that is participant number eight, Mitra. Hi. Hi, ma'am. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a bit nervous. Okay, just take a deep breath and give me a thumbs up once you are ready. I'll, I'm going to give a small introduction first. Ma'am, I'll start with my first, uh, my introduction. Yeah, I said go ahead. Hi, everyone. I'm Mithra, and today I'm going to review the movie The Lion King. And then we can start now. The Lion King was released in July 2019 and produced by Walt Disney Pictures. We all know Walt Disney Pictures, and we've watched so many movies from Walt Disney. And this movie was an original story made by the people who produced this movie. The director of this movie is Jen Favreau's, and it stars Beyonce, the famous singer, as the voice for Nala. The main characters in this movie are Simba, Mufasa, Scar, and Nala. The settings in the story is the kingdom of the Pride Lands. Simba was a small cub who was very playful and was very curious all the time. He was born to Mufasa and Sarabi, the king and queen of the Pride Lands. Scar was his uncle who was very jealous of Mufasa for being king. Every animal in the kingdom was extremely happy on Simba's birth, except for Scar. He knew that after Mufasa died, Simba would inherit the throne and he would never have a chance to be king. This made him want to kill both Mufasa and Simba so that he could take over the throne. He managed to kill Mufasa, but then he made poor old Simba think that he killed his own father. This made him run into the forest crying and he was full of regret. When he went into the forest, he found Timon and Pumbaa and became friends with them. He grew up in this forest and learned morals like Hakuna Matata, but interpreted them wrongly, thinking that he wouldn't have to worry about his own problems and didn't take control or take over his responsibilities. 
when he grew up, he learned about all the evil things that Scar had done to his beloved kingdom, and he wanted to take revenge and also set things right. I hope you can watch the movie to see how the things turn out. I love this movie. I enjoyed watching this, and it was so adventurous. I watched it many times already. This movie was also a remake of the two-dimensionally animated version, which was released in 1994. This movie won the Satellite Award for Best Animation and Motion Pictures. It drew over $1.6 billion worldwide. It is really impressive. This movie features the famous songs like Hakuna Matata, The Circle of Life, and Can You Feel the Love Tonight? It teaches wonderful morals like... The ratings, in the, I rate this movie five out of five stars because it was absolutely perfect. And I recommend this movie to all the age groups. I hope you can watch this movie too. Thank you. That was great, Mitra. Even I enjoy watching this movie and I can see you're wearing a t-shirt as well. That's very thoughtful. I mean, that's yes, great. Can we all give a round of applause for her? Lovely. Okay, yeah. so we move, you're welcome. And we move on to the next participant, that is participant number nine, Anisha. Hi, Anisha. Hi. Just a second, I'm removing my chair. Yeah. Okay. Can you see me properly? Yeah, I can see you, but um, can you place your camera? Uh, the, I think the angle is not right. I know there's just some, yeah, I mean, the set, I couldn't uh, set it properly. So just, I'll just, just, is this fine? Is this fine? Yeah, it's better. Okay. I'm just going to do my introduction first. Yeah, okay. Uh, hi, everyone. I am Naisha, and today I am really excited to be reviewing one of my favorite books. Uh, books have always been my closest friends. Whether I'm sad, bored, or even angry, books always have a way to calm me down and cheer me up. Now, another thing that has always intrigued me is the spectacular discoveries of the one and only Albert Einstein. He has been one of the greatest assets in the evolution of physics. So I decided to get a biography of him. The Life of Albert Einstein by Trevor Lipscomb and Alice Kalapas. It is one of the finest books I've ever read. It is one of the finest books I've ever read. In this, uh, in this book, the authors have done a commendable job on trying to emphasize the life of uh, Einstein outside of science. So uh, the book includes many elements of life, such as death, marriage, dispute, war, discovery, etc. Um, and it uh, mostly refers to the life of Einstein outside of physics and shows that his life doesn't just revolve around it. Um, I, believe, I, believe, I believe that the book is a bit uh, sad for it might be a little bit sad for some faint-hearted people like because there is a lot of death and all because his reign Albert Einstein reign was at the time of the second world war so there are also a lot of uh, things about the world war ii and all but I still love it a lot because it just because it just gives you so many emotions, a mix of emotions. Like reading his quotes will motivate you. The death, uh, the death he faced of his wife and children is sad and mournful, and the sad and sad and mournful, and this and the and the moment when he won the Nobel Prize of Physics is a moment of true exuberance. But this book doesn't just uh, tell us about Einstein, but also so much that had happened in World War II, like the under reign of Hitler, which is really interesting. Now, I would give this book a 5 out of 5 rating because it is such an amazing book. Now, and it is suitable for, I guess, above 10 plus because of the dark and dark things in it. But... Anyways, I would definitely recommend this book to anybody who wants to read it, and I'm sure you'll love it. 
that was a lovely performance, Anaisha, and your narration was amazing. Can we all give a round of applause for her? Great. Okay, so now we move on to the next participant for the day. But before that, I would request all the participants to please turn on their videos. Remember the Gold on the Cup agreement? Please turn on your videos, all of you. And with that, I welcome our 10th participant, that is Isha. Hi, Isha. Hello. How are you feeling? Very nervous. Okay, just take a deep breath. I think all of you were nervous at the, you know, at the start, but till now, all of you have done amazingly well. Like all of you performed so good. And I think Abhi, the rest of you will also perform really well. So just relax. We are having a lot of fun. Great. So give me a thumbs up once you're ready. Okay, start. Good evening, my fellow participants and judges. For today's five-star review, I have chosen to review a movie called Mission Mongol. Starring Vidya Balan, Akshay Kumar, Tapsi Pandu, Sonakshi Sinha, and Sharman Joshi. Directed by Jagan Shakti with a net collection of over 200 crores. The movie is a true story about the Mars Orbiter mission launched by ISRO on 5th November 2013. As we all know, if India achieved this a uh, magnificent task on its very first attempt when no one was expecting us to do it. The movie starts off with the failure of the GSLV fat boy for which Akshay Kumar takes the blame for his team member's mistake and gets a punishment posting in the Mars mission, which everybody knows is not going to be realized soon. But Vidya Balan comes in with her out-of-the-box ideas or his Dalit Tahir put it, Puri Bhaji ideas. The movie is filled with many such jokes and innovative ideas that turn each impossible problem into opportunities for them. This is what I like about the movie. Nothing is impossible for them. So it's fun to see a scientific film at one point and the very next frame, it becomes a mass entertainer with a puri bhaji or cricket joke. The movie doesn't have too many songs, which is a very refreshing change that I like. So, uh, which is a very, which is, there are very few songs. The few songs that are there, like Shabashi Ina, are very apt for the situation depicted. Overall, I give this movie 4.5 stars on 5, with the only concern being that uh, the other scientists on Team Mom don't have a very well fleshed out character. So if you'd like to know about these scientists, you can read the book. Those Magnificent Women and Their Flying Machines by Mini Ware about the women ISRO scientists who worked on, Mar on the Mars mission. I, I, expect, I love this movie a lot and hope you all catch it out with your friends and family, especially if you like some rocket science mixed with some home science. Thank you. That was an amazing performance, Isha, and even I love this movie. Like, I've watched it so, so many times. I always feel so motivated after watching it. And as you said, nothing is impossible. It was a lovely a performance. And yeah, a round of applause for you. Great. So we move on to the next participant. That is participant number 11, Prithvika. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me properly? Yeah, I can hear you properly. Yes. Okay. Okay, start. Hey everyone, it is me, Ritvika, a seventh grader from Presidency School. And today, I am here to travel you into a fictional, monstrous, supernatural world. Ready? So it is all about an American sci-fi super series named The Stranger Things, in which, till date, we have three seasons, and the fourth is to be released in Netflix in May 2022, which I'm super curious about. Created by the Duffer Brothers and streamed in Netflix, it has won three Grammy Award nominations and 96% love this. And it all revolves around the second world of Upside Down, set in the town of Hawkins, Indiana. It brings in five main friends, Will Byers and his mates, Mike Wheeler, Dustin Henderson, Lucas Sinclair, and a girl named Eleven, who is in real Millie Bobby, and she possesses mind powers. 
and real life concepts and mysteries like the top secret experiments of the scientific research centers have been clutched to this movie. And there are snippets of that too. So this makes the series more curious and interesting. And that's what gets me attracted to it. It's all really an amazing. And if you are a sci-fi lover, I'm sure you'll be in the same state of mind. So in season one, Will Byers gets abducted by a creature from the upside down. And also there appears the girl 11 and efforts are made by Will's friends to find him. And the second buster, Will is rescued with no sigh of relief. Why? As he's still facing the side effects of the upside down, which is a bit painful and so on, the third continues. So everything has its other side too, right? And here are horror situations as there are tremendous monsters like the Tamagorgon, the Mind Flayer, the Shadow Monster, etc., which is what I never look forward to. I had to rate it 5 by 5, but due to these, I give it 4.8 stars by 5. I was slightly frightened at the start, but fine to the end. Yes, so by this, I hope you've attained the spotlighted and primary points of the series. Make sure you watch it and stay tuned for the fourth blockbuster. Thank you. That was amazing, Ritvika. And uh, honestly, my uh, you know a lot of my friends really like Stranger Things. And after listening to your reviews, I think Mahi also reviewed on the same series. And after listening to your views, I think I'm going to watch it now. <laughs> Finally. So thank you for that. And it was an amazing performance. Congratulations. Okay. So now we move on to the next participant. That is participant number 12, Sana. Hi, I'm Kenny Hussain properly. Yeah, I can hear you and see you properly. Okay, ma'am. Uh, one second. Okay. Uh, shall I start? Yeah, start. A very good evening to everyone. Do you like books? Why do you like them? Well, I love books, especially classics. So today, I will be presenting my book review on my most favorite book, which is none other than one of the most African classics of the world, Little Women, written by Louisa May Alcott. And yes, she is one of my most favorite authors. The reason I'm reviewing this book is mainly, one, the plot is really good, and two, it teaches us a lot of moral values. So let's dive right in, shall we? The main plot of the book is about four sisters, whose father is working in the army, and their mother is struggling to keep the family afloat as they move through the difficult times. The four girls have desires and aspirations, but due to the poverty, they are not able to fulfill them. As a loving mother tries to take them safely through the many ups and downs of life, they learn that money is not everything and true happiness lies in family, love, and health. Although the four sisters are entirely different in personality, their hearts are knit together with a love that nothing can break. As the story moves on, the four sisters learn to overcome their burdens. And when their father turns home after the war, he sees four kind hearted women compared to the girls he had left long ago. Now let's move to the pros and cons of the book. The main feature I liked about it is that the language is just perfect. And it struck me as no other book star. The second thing I like is how the other teaches us all their values in a mild heart touching way, which makes us want to adopt them. Besides, each character is unique and has their own weaknesses. You find in many books a bunch of boring characters who serve no specific purpose to serve. But Louis Emile Coors is nothing like that. Also, readers find themselves in one of the sisters, and that makes the book more interesting since you can actually relate to how the characters feel. Now we're coming over to the code section. Well, it's a bit hard to find weak points in the book, but one problem I could find is this. Each chapter is mostly dedicated to one of the sisters. But as you naturally get obsessed with one, you get impatient to the chapters of the other sisters, because you can't wait to read the part dedicated to your favorite. But that is the book to read much. Besides, the language is a bit old-fashioned, but after a while you'll get used to it. So all in all, it was a very nice and enriching experience for me. You'll surely fall in love with this book and it certainly look good on a bookshelf. It's available on Kindle, Amazon, etc. I certainly hope you read it and a very good day to give him up. Thank you. That was great, Sanna. Sanna, I was going to say Sanjana. I'm so sorry. That was great, Sanna. You performed really well. Please give a round of applause for her. Thank that you. was amazing. Okay, so now you can sit back while we move on to our next participant for the day, who is also our last participant. Participant number nine. 
Arakamita. I am sorry if I pronounced your ma'am, name. Ma'am, it's Arakamita, but it's fine, ma'am. I said Arakamita only, I guess. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's fine. Okay, so. Uh, ma'am, can I start? Yeah, start. Okay. Have you ever dreamt of time travel? Maybe you wanted to see what life was like in the 1930s or taken a rare whiff of the unpolluted air. Well, the sound of music is about as close as you can get. With after five Oscars and over 250 weeks as the highest grossing film, it continues to reign as a household name. Albeit, the musical wouldn't be half as iconic without Julie Andrews' flawless acting as the one and only Maria. With the eventful nature of the plot, it is quite easy to overlook the fact that it is based on the real life story of the Von Trapp family singers. When music is your life, you'll do just about anything for the opportunity to sing. Even give up all your worldly desires and become a nun at a convent. Little did high-spirited, adventurous Maria know that nunship was not for her. But after being assigned to babysit the seven devious children of Captain Georg von Trapp, her life would never be the same. From a vindictive evil stepmother to a life-changing contest, from innocent young love to the absolute panic of fleeing the country. Jealousy, betrayal, war, comedy, romance. This movie has it all. Although the scenes of the movie elude your mind as soon as they appear, the music lingers on in your subconsciousness. The resonant voice of the Baron unexpectedly greets your mind, much like the small white edelweiss, while you twirl around the room humming the sound of music. A cause for hesitation, however, could be its time period. It can only be natural to question if you will be interested in your grandma's equivalent of a rom-com. But there's a reason it has survived 90 years of criticism and is still leaving people wonderstruck. And there's only one way to find out. With the, with the mesmerizing lyricism of its dialogue, paired with the exquisite photography of the Austrian landscapes, the production is simply exemplary. This musical bears enough quality to last for multiple viewings. And each time, you are rewarded with satisfaction. With the wonders this musical has already shown, it undoubtedly has the potential to end up on your list of favorite things. Thank you. That was an amazing performance, Arkamita. I said it right, I guess. Yes, time. ma'am. <laughs> okay. And you were well within time. Can we all give a round of applause for her? That was great. Okay, so with that, we have come to the end of today's challenge. And I must say, first of all, please turn on your videos. I really want to see you all. Okay. I, okay, thank you so much. And I must say, it was a wonderful evening having such wonderful kids like you. All of you performed really well. And I could see many of you using props and, you know, using your hands while narrating your speech. And that was great. I think I loved all the performances. So I would like to know what was your favorite part of the challenge? Anyone? Okay, first I can see Tisa, participant number three. Uh, yes, ma'am. I really like to know about, you know, uh, the other people's preferences about their favorite food and favorite books, favorite TV shows. It was really great to know about all the, uh, you know, the parts and features that describes a book they like or the food they like or the TV show they love the most. It was great. Yeah, I think it was great as well. We all got some new suggestions. Okay, anyone else? Okay, Michelle. Yeah, I love um, to listen to their speech and uh, the part when we celebrate their performance by clapping them. Uh, while seeing their faces when we clap for them, they feel really great. That's what makes me happy. That's very much right, Michelle, because it's like when we support, we grow. We grow as a person, right? So that's lovely. Okay, I can see Arka Mitha hand. Yeah, so... Um, 
many of the participants actually reviewed TV shows and apps and stuff that I have also used and watched. And it was very refreshing to see their individual perspectives on it. And it gave me a different view. It actually changed my perspective on them. And that actually helped me see things in another way. That's lovely. Okay, Ritvika. Um, yes, ma'am. So the most important part, I mean, the loving part I loved about this was then uh, actually before coming to this challenge, there was a lot of time left over of me boring. And then now I got many new suggestions, which I can make up my time with. Yeah, that's great. True. Okay. Uh, so I have taken your feedback and I think we all love the challenge. That's great. So now it's time that we take a judge's feedback because it's very important to note all the tips and tricks they give us. So first over to you, ma'am Aritrika. Yes. So like a wonderful evening made and a really tough time for me because seriously, I feel attacked because when I was in class seven or eight, I was not this proficient, let me tell all of you. So there is no reason to feel like, oh, I'm not doing that great. No, each one of you are far ahead of your times. So it just literally makes me feel like, oh, well, you guys are already a winner. So you all have won at your own levels and come this far. So it really congratulations for that. Please celebrate that. And please keep this mindset that, yes, you are capable of winning all the further. I love particularly what I love today is that you guys are proficient in talking. Like it was really tough to uh, say who is better than the other when it comes to delivering. You guys know how to deliver your speech so well and efficiently. So I was really happy on that part. And you already have that, you know, aura of attending, gra grabbing the attention of the audience. Okay. So that's there. And the next thing is, yes, what you can develop upon is always there because you can always get better. The structure of your um, like argue of your argument or whatever you're producing. Yes, please structure, please structure what you say according to the topic, in tune, fine tune with the topic. When it comes to five star reviews, I all I was looking out for is how conversational, how conversational you make and make the entire process look. Because when you are giving a five-star review, you have to make it persuasive that yes, from your perspective, you must want this, you must purchase this item, or you must try this out. Rather saying that, you have to add statements, relevant statements constantly that makes the audience urge. They really should get the urge after your review to actually try it. So your structure of the speech has to be according to that. So the better, the more the urgency you create that what are you for, trying? This is how I wanted it to be. And literally each one of you have had that those elements here and there. I found snippets here and there, but you can do this on a greater level the next time. So don't stop participating next time you know what is actually needed. You know, right? So now that you know what is needed, give me a thumbs up if you know and you've understood what I'm saying and this is not gibberish. Great. So now that you all know, I wish you all the very best in all the future endeavors of your life because all of you are stars. So no matter who wins, each one of you are bright sparks. All the very best. Thank you so much, ma'am. And I'm sure all of you have noted all the tips that she gave you. Okay, now ma'am Munira. Yes, children. Uh, it was so wonderful to hear all your speeches. You all sounded so confident. You all said that you all were feeling nervous, but I didn't get even a whiff of nervousness when you were speaking. You were speaking so confidently and you were so poised uh, a little bit of feedback that I'd like to give you is use your voices a little more when you're talking about uh, something that you like and something that you have watched or an app that you have used or food that you like you can use your voices to create more excitement like uh, ma'am said you know you should tempt others to go and try it immediately because you're reviewing something and people might be tempted to try it based on your review. So use your voices to create a little bit more excitement. But overall, your use of language and your vocabulary was excellent. And it was a very closely judged competition. We had a tough time selecting a winner. But I'd like to say all of you are winners because the marks are very close and you, are, you all have performed very well. 
Thank you so much, ma'am. And yes, as she said, the competition is very close. And all of you, you said that you were nervous, but you were not at all nervous. You were so confident. Everyone, I would say. So please take a moment and pat your back. All of you did a great job and it was amazing watching you all. Okay, so before announcing the results, I have some information that I would like to share with all of you. Give me a thumbs up when you can see the screen. Oh, I think, okay, great. So the All Rounder Cup has two exciting games for you. That is the Maths Master, which is new game every Thursday and Quiz Whiz, new game every Friday. You can register yourself for these challenges and play it for free. They are for free. I'll be sharing a link with all of you in the chat box. Just a moment. Okay, I'll share it, no worries. I'll share the link with you in the chat box and you all can register for these challenges. And now is the time that we all have been waiting for. I am sure all of you know what it is. <laughs> okay, so they are the results. So for the results, just give me a second. Okay, so let me look at the score sheet and see who, what positions are there. I can't. Okay, I can see my controls. Great. So the first position goes to drum rolls. Just a moment. Participant number five, Aditi. Congratulations, Aditi. Thank you, ma'am. How are you feeling? I am feeling really happy and I feel really great that I have won. Great. So would you like to tell us how you prepared for the challenge? Ma'am, uh, I actually uh, stood in front of the mirror so that uh, I can see how I am performing and I can see uh, how I can improve more. And first, I try to use more props so that it can uh, make the audience have a visual um, impression and uh, I just wanted to say that you, uh, Aditi, you're on mute. Uh, what was your last sentence? Now it is that uh, I also uh, I use I try to use more body language. That's great Aditi and I could see that you were well practiced. That was amazing. Congratulations to you. And you got the first position. I think I said that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Thank you so much and congratulations to you. And now we have the second position. And the second position goes to drum rolls again. Participant number three, Tisa. Hi, congratulations. How are you feeling? Thank you, ma'am. I feel great. Okay, so would you like to tell us how you prepared for the challenge? Uh, yeah, so after finalizing my speech, uh, after I had written it, I practice in front of the mirror and I try to point out the areas uh, on which I, I thought that I could improve a bit like my body language and also my voice modulation. I tried to do a bit better. That's great. And even you and Aditi, both of you said that you practice in front of the mirror. I think that's a great way of practicing. And congratulations to you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And now is the time for the third position. And the third position goes to... Participant number two, Tanisi. Congratulations, how are you feeling? Thank you, ma'am. I'm feeling very good right now. I'm feeling very uh, excited and happy. Even I practiced in front of the mirror. I also pra uh, recorded my voice uh, many times and heard it by myself. I forced my sister to listen to my speech and correct my mistakes. And I'm very, very excited now. That's lovely, Tanisi. And congratulations to you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. 
Okay, with that, we have come to the end of today's challenge. And for the participants, to the rest of the participants, please do not get disheartened. I'm sure you all have worked really hard for this challenge. I could clearly see that with your performance. And I'm also sure that if you keep participating more, you'll get better. And it was amazing having all of you here. Just a last information, last piece of information that I would like to share. Okay. Just a moment. Okay, so all of you can re-watch the public speaking finale live on the YouTube, on the All Rounder Cup YouTube channel, like this challenge. And that's a wrap for our public speaking finals. Thank you so much for participating in the challenge. Thank you so much for making this evening so beautiful. This is Muskana Huja, your host, signing off. Thank you so much for joining in. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, judges. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. -bye.